All right, guys, right behind me, you've got the major communities which are freehold in Dubai. I'm going to tell you what are the specific unique selling points or the unique specialties of each of these communities. What are the main landmarks in each of these communities? Show real first. All right, guys, welcome back. Look, if you start from this side, I'm going to go one by one on each and every community, okay? So you've got Dubai Airport here just as a landmark. Uh, I'm not telling you that's fault. You can't buy the airport. But the closest, one of the closest communities is Creek Harbor, okay? Creek Harbor is being built by Imar. What are the major landmarks over there? Creek Harbor is going to have the tallest tower in the future, okay? When or how, I'm not sure, but the foundation's already been done. It's going to have a mall that's bigger than Dubai Mall because that area actually does need a mall. And then this waterway actually flows into. So it's got a creek as well, okay, guys? So it has creek as well. So it's got three landmarks. One, two, three apart from a few other because it's close to the metro station so on and so forth okay when you come further down port de la mer world islands it's got the beach and water views downtown has four main landmarks which are burj khalifa which is the tallest tower in the world it's got the opera house it's got the fountains it's got the boulevard Okay, MBR City in District 1 has a lagoon, a man-made lagoon. Okay, it's called the District 1 Lagoon. Arabian Ranches has a golf course, okay. And then the villa communities have very nice landscaping. JLT has lakes, gardens, and metro. Okay, so you can see this metro station actually connects over here. Dubai Marina, Imar Beachfront, Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jabal Ali, obviously it's got beach access. Dubai Imar South is undervalued land, very close to Dubai World Central, which is the largest aerotropolis in the world, and Expo 2020. So just want to give you a quick overview of what are the main landmarks. When you're investing in, let's say, downtown, you know that you've got four main anchors. Boulevard, Fountain, Opera House, and Burj Khalifa watch my downtown video. I've actually gone to all of these places. When you're doing Palm Jabal Ali, Palm Jumeirah, Imar Beachfront, World Islands, you know that you've got another, uh, you've got C, any, anything C facing generally property prices go up anyways. All right, guys, if you've got a question, don't, don't forget to ask me in the comment section. If you've got no questions, but you just want to work with us, there's a link below, hit it, click it, let's talk. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007 I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.